Picture this, it's a balmy summer evening in 1981. The sun dips below the horizon, casting lawn shadows across your living room. You're sprawled on the shaggy carpet, eyes fixed on the flickering glow of your television set. The channel has just changed, and there it is, the greatest American hero. The opening chords of its iconic theme song send a shiver down your spine. As you sit there, your young heart racing, you're about to embark on a journey like no other, alongside Ralph Hinckley and his unforgettable red suit. Fast forward to today, and you can't help but reminisce about those thrilling moments. The clumsy high school teacher turned reluctant superhero, the cryptic alien suit with its missing instruction manual, and the adventures that unfolded in a whirlwind of comedy and chaos. It was a show that made you laugh, gasp, and ponder the possibilities of an ordinary person wielding extraordinary power. But did you know that behind the scenes, the greatest American hero had its quirks and secrets? Join us as we unveil some fascinating facts about the show that will leave you awestruck and nostalgic. So, let's rewind the clock and dive deep into the world of Ralph Hinckley and his super-powered misadventures. Get ready for a trip down memory lane, and let's uncover the hidden gems of the greatest American hero. It's time to rediscover the magic that made you believe in heroes. In 1981, the greatest American hero burst onto TV screens with an unusual twist, a reluctant superhero. The show followed schoolteacher Ralph Hinckley, played by William Catt, who gains superpowers from an alien suit but struggles to control them. One noteworthy fact about the series is the change in Ralph's last name. Near the end of the first season, it was changed from Hinckley to Hanley due to the negative association with John Hinckley Jr., who attempted to assassinate President Ronald Reagan. However, this change was short-lived and by the first episode of season two, Ralph's name reverted to Hinckley once the controversy subsided. Interestingly, the unaired 1986 pilot for the greatest American heroine included a scene where Ralph Hinckley meets the President of the United States, adding a unique twist to the story. Moreover, the greatest American hero faced a delayed entry into the UK market. The series couldn't be shown in the UK until 1985 to 1986 because the pilot film received a UK cinema release around 1982 to 1983. This delay was due to the TV holdback rule in the UK, which prevented the series, including the pilot, from being broadcast for over four years. Furthermore, fans of Perry Mason might find it interesting that both William Catt and Robert Culp, key actors from The Greatest American Hero, had appearances in the series Perry Mason. In summary, The Greatest American Hero had its share of behind-the-scenes changes and international broadcasting challenges, making it a notable entry in the world of 1980s television. The Greatest American Hero, a popular TV series from 1981, had some intriguing international title translations. In Hong Kong, the show was loosely known as Flying Red Center Hero, reflecting the emblem on the costume resembling a Chinese character that means center, middle, in, among, or within. Meanwhile, in Sweden, it went by the title Tina, Han Flyger, which translates to look. He flies. The series followed the adventures of Ralph, who gains superpowers from a mysterious suit but struggles to control them. Interestingly, Ralph's son Kevin had a diminishing role, appearing only occasionally during the first season and eventually phased out as the show progressed. One notable aspect of the series was its theme song, sung by Joey Scarberry. The song was so catchy and well-received that it was released as a single, peaking at two on the Billboard charts during the summer of 1981. These international title translations and the evolution of Ralph's character's family dynamics offer unique insights into the show's reception and development. The greatest American hero left a lasting mark on pop culture, not only for its quirky hero, but also for its catchy theme song. In 1981, the TV series The Greatest American Hero took flight, capturing the imaginations of viewers across America. However, its journey didn't follow a smooth flight path. Two years after the show's cancellation by ABC, NBC decided to rerun the series in a Sunday night post-primetime slot. This sparked rumors of a potential revival. Unfortunately, NBC's efforts led to only one result, for the greatest American heroine pilot. One interesting note about the series is that it marked Michael Pear's first TV credit and his second acting credit overall. 
Pear would go on to make a name for himself in the entertainment industry, but the greatest American hero holds a special place in his career. Another twist in the show's story is that ABC officially canceled it before airing the last four produced episodes. His lost episodes didn't see the light of day on ABC but were bundled with the rest of the series when it went into syndication and later DVD collections. In the world of TV series, the greatest American hero had its share of ups and downs, from cancellation to revival attempts, and even lost episodes. Yet, it remains a part of television history and a notable point in Michael Pear's career. Connie Selleck is limited role in the greatest American hero in the world of classic TV series. The greatest American hero stands out as a memorable gem from 1981. While the show is primarily known for its quirky premise and humorous take on superhero tropes, one interesting behind-the-scenes fact involves Connie Selleck, who played the character Pam Davidson. Initially, Pam was intended to be a one-time appearance in the pilot episode. The plan was for Ralph Hinckley, the titular hero, to have a different girlfriend in each episode, creating a recurring gag. However, Connie Selleck's performance left a lasting impression on the producers. Her portrayal of Pam was so compelling that they decided to make her a regular on the series. Despite her newfound regular status, Connie Selleck's presence in the show had a hiccup during the second season. This hiatus from the series was due to her real-life pregnancy. As a result, her character, Pam, was rarely seen during that season. The show's creators had to work around her absence, adjusting storylines to accommodate her temporary departure. The greatest American hero may have been known for its comedic take on a superhero's life, but behind the scenes, decisions like keeping Connie Selica on board as a regular and adapting to real-life circumstances added depth to the show's history. So, whether you're a fan of the show or just curious about the world of 1981 TV, the story of Connie Selica's unexpected journey in The Greatest American Hero offers a fascinating glimpse into the dynamics of television production. In 1983, a spin-off series titled The Greatest American Heroine was produced but didn't air until 1986, serving as the final episode in syndication. Despite its inception, the spin-off did not achieve the same success as its predecessor. The Greatest American Hero faced a delayed debut in the UK. It wasn't picked up for British TV until 1985 when ITV decided to air it on a regional basis. Yorkshire Television was the first to showcase it in autumn 1985 while other regions followed suit in 1986. Interestingly, the show's lead actors, William Catt and Robert Culp, initially had difficulties working together at the start of the series. However, this tension mirrored the on-screen dynamic between their characters. Over time, Catt and Culp managed to resolve their differences, ultimately becoming good friends during the course of the show. This iconic series not only entertained audiences, but also showcased the real-life evolution of the bond between its two lead actors. The greatest American hero remains a noteworthy piece of television history. The Vanished Star, the unsolved mystery of the greatest American hero's cast member disappearance from Hollywood's glittering stage in the early 80 seconds. The greatest American hero soared onto TV screens, captivating audiences with its tale of an ordinary school teacher turned superhero. However, amid the show's fame and success, one cast member seemed to vanish from Hollywood's glittering stage, leaving behind a mystery that remains unsolved to this day. Michael Pear, known for his role as Tony Villacana, the charismatic high school student in The Greatest American Hero, enjoyed a promising start to his career. The show's popularity propelled him into the spotlight, but as the years went by, Pear gradually faded from Hollywood's radar. While some might assume that Pear simply stepped away from acting to pursue other interests, the reality is far more enigmatic. Despite his early success and undeniable talent, Pear struggled to secure roles that matched the heights of his greatest American hero days. His disappearance from the industry remains perplexing, with no clear explanation or public statement from the actor himself. As fans of the show and Hollywood enthusiasts continue to wonder about Michael Pear's vanishing act, his story serves as a poignant reminder of the unpredictable nature of fame and the personal battles that often remain hidden behind the glitz and glamour of the entertainment industry. In a world where the spotlight can be blinding, Pear's disappearance from Hollywood's glittering stage remains one of its enduring enigmas, leaving us to question what might have been and where he might be now. 
as we bid adieu to this nostalgic journey through the realms of the greatest American hero, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the unique connection you've forged with this iconic 1981 TV series. Like the protagonist Ralph Hinckley donning the crimson suit, you two have embarked on your own adventures, navigating the uncharted territories of life with a dash of courage and a hint of the unknown. Perhaps it's the endearing clumsiness of Ralph, the soaring theme music that still resonates in your heart, or the enduring message that even ordinary individuals can achieve extraordinary feats. Whatever it may be, the greatest American hero has left an indelible mark on your television watching experience. Now, as you reminisce about your favorite moments, characters, and episodes, I encourage you to share your cherished memories with fellow enthusiasts. In doing so, you not only keep the spirit of this beloved series alive, but also foster connections with kindred spirits who share your passion for this timeless classic. Your stories, your insights, and your sentiments are the threads that weave the fabric of nostalgia, reminding us all of the enduring power of storytelling. So, whether it's a chance encounter with an alien suit or a lesson in the limitless potential of the human spirit, share your thoughts and let your voice be heard. Thank you for embarking on this journey down memory lane with us, and for your unwavering interest in the greatest American hero. Until we meet again in the realms of nostalgia, keep those memories close, and those stories flowing, fondly,